in Western thought, if something does not make sense intellectually, it's not paid attention to. But in Hawaiian thought, if something intellectually doesn't make sense, but if your feelings guide you to it, they will follow their feelings first. In Hawaiian society, Hawaiian thought, everything was spiritual. Everything had a spiritual and a physical quality to it. In 1819, when Ka'ahumanu abolished the old religion, she sent an order that all of the heiau throughout the islands that were still in use were to be destroyed by fire. So when her men came to the shores of Molokai to carry out that order, the people of Molokai rejected that. The priests lined the walls of the heiau and they began to chant a prophecy. Which means um, the day shall fall, the night shall fall, the heaven shall fall, all the high born shall fall, all of the high born in the branches of the heaven shall fall. Ha'ule is to collapse. That is a metaphor that is saying that all of the ali'i will fall. There will be no more. And they will collapse. Of Manu's men entered the Heiau Pakui and destroyed the temple by fire. And all the priests that rebelled were killed and burnt also in that flame and the torches were set to it. Absolute trauma. And here we are talking about it now, and we're still feeling that, uh, that trauma. Mm -hmm. Everything they had known, everything they had lived by and believed in, anchored in their hearts, their lives patterned after this system. God. With one throw of the torch, gone. And there were their family idols and things, you know, taken, and they were fleeing up to the mountains, burying them in the caves and, you know, covering them over. And, oh, how dramatic. You know, with their children in their arms and fleeing. And <clears throat> it must have been probably the most traumatic time in the history of Hawaii.